Now to the Red House saga. Mayor Ted Wheeler says he's cautiously optimistic about an agreement reached between the developer who owns the Red House of Mississippi. Our Liz Birch has been on the scene and she now reports. Liz. At the entrances to the neighborhood and on top of local garages, we still saw guards armed with paintball guns this afternoon. The mayor said in that press conference that he was hopeful a peaceful end to this situation is close. A key opportunity to de-escalate the situation was provided by the Kinney family and the property developer. They came to a mutual desire to reach an amicable resolution. In a statement from the organization representing the Kinney family, they said, quote, We have no choice but to continue occupying the land for the Kinney family. Developer Roman Azugura has yet to initiate any negotiations, end quote. They do say, however, they've begun deconstructing the blockades. Neighbors tell me today they're upset with the city leaders that this has been going on so long. And when there's ammunition and guns and all this stuff in a residential neighborhood, it's a recipe for, um, you know, potentially something very bad to happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that these kids out here don't want that on their conscience either. And a building owner says he's frustrated to find his building vandalized. It's tough for it to continue when you own a building and you support the neighborhood, and then it gets terrorized with graffiti. I'm sorry to say it, but I don't think it's right. You know, there's other ways to get support. That's not one way to get support. It's just vandalism. We also want to note uh, the family's son, William, who's leading all this, has texted Coin6 on Thursday saying he was working on negotiations with the developer. We reach out to him and the people representing the family multiple times, trying to get clarification on what that all means. We've also been trying to reach the developer with no response. Yeah, I know.